Bethany Frankel's battle against Bravo, from show pitch to legal crusade. Former reality TV star Bethany Frankel, known for her candid persona and entrepreneurial prowess, has taken an unexpected and dramatic turn. Just months after pitching a show concept to Bravo, she has recruited two powerful legal minds to embark on a righteous crusade against the network. Frankel's actions come in the form of a scathing legal letter accusing Bravo of routinely engaging in grotesque and depraved mistreatment of both reality stars and crew members. This surprising twist raises eyebrows as it becomes clear that a mere six months prior, Bethany Frankel herself had proposed a new show idea to Bravo. Her concept revolved around a wealthy Connecticut family, including their children, in a project that she hoped would bring a unique perspective to reality television. The show was set to star actress and blogger Eva Emery, daughter of Susan Sarandon. However, tensions between Frankel and the production company handling the project led to its shelving, despite Bravo's continued interest. The revelation of Frankel's previous engagement with Bravo adds a layer of complexity to her current legal battle. Notably, her legal team includes Marquis attorneys Brian Friedman and Mark DeRegos, both well-known for their successful representation of high-profile clients in the entertainment industry. In a litigation hold letter to Bravo's general counsel, Frankel's lawyers vow that a day of reckoning is impending, shedding light on what they describe as the network's sordid and dark underbelly. As the legal drama unfolds, the timing coincides with the start of the SAG-AFTRA and WGA strikes, which have roiled the entertainment industry. Bethany Frankel has taken the opportunity to advocate for fair treatment of reality stars and crew members, echoing the sentiment of the striking entertainers. In a social media video, she called for a union or equitable treatment for unscripted talent, rallying against what she perceives as an industry disparity. Bravo, a subsidiary of NBC Universal, has remained tight-lipped about the situation, offering a standard response that it does not comment on potential shows in development. Bethany Frankel's representative declined to comment, leaving the public curious about the evolving narrative surrounding this outspoken entrepreneur's battle against the network she once engaged with creatively. As the legal battle ensues and the allegations unfold, it remains to be seen how Bethany Frankel's pursuit of justice and her quest for fair treatment in the reality TV landscape will impact the industry's dynamics and practices. Thank you for watching our broadcast. Remember to subscribe for more updates and news coverage.